cell energy. A cell does three main kinds of work. Mechanical or motion, transport or crossing a barrier, chemical, changing a molecule. To do work, cells manage energy resources by energy coupling using an exergonic reaction to drive an endergonic one. ATP. Cells can store the energy from catabolic pathways in a molecule called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. ATP can be broken down later to fuel anabolic reactions. ATP. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, includes three phosphate groups, and here you can see one. So each phosphate group has an iconic charge of negative 3E. In this model of ATP, each phosphate group is circled in blue. So here are those three phosphate groups. ATP. The phosphate groups repel each other since they each have a negative charge. Therefore, it requires work to add this second phosphate group to go from AMP, which is a monophosphate, to ADP, a diphosphate. To add the third group to go from ADP to ATP, which is the triphosphate, requires even more work since it is repelled by both of the other phosphate groups. This is like the work in compressing a spring. The energy from the work needed to bring each phosphate group to the molecule is stored in that phosphate bond. When the bond is broken to go from ATP to ADP, significant energy is released. Going from ADP to AMP releases less energy since there is less total charge in ADP than ATP. The bonds between the phosphate groups of ATP's tail can be broken by hydrolysis. Remember, that's a reaction with water. Energy is released from ATP when the terminal phosphate bond is broken. The released energy is equal to the work that was done to form the bond. That work overcame the electrostatic repulsion between the last phosphate group and the initial ADP molecule. The result is a chemical change to a state of lower free energy. In the living systems, the energy from the exergonic reaction of ATP hydrolysis can be used to drive an endergonic reaction. Overall, the coupled reactions are exergonic. Click here for more resources about ATP. ATP performs work. ATP drives endergonic reactions by phosphorylation, transferring a phosphate group to some other molecule, such as a reactant. The recipient molecule is now phosphorylated. The three types of cellular work are powered by the hydrolysis of ATP. So you'll remember we said that cells do three types of work, mechanical, transport, and chemical. And this diagram shows an example of each. So this first one is showing mechanical work. And in this example, the ATP phosphorylates motor proteins. And it makes those proteins able to move. Here you see an example of transport work. And here the ATP is transporting or providing the energy to transport the proteins through this um, lipid bilayer. And here you see chemical work. This example shows a chemical reaction or an endergonic chemical reaction which is powered by ATP. Regeneration of ATP. ATP is a renewable resource that is regenerated by addition of a phosphate group to ADP. The energy to phosphorylate ADP comes from catabolic reactions in the cell. The chemical potential energy temporarily stored in ATP drives most cellular work. Each cell is converting millions of ATP 
to ADP and back again every second. The regeneration of ATP. So this diagram shows that cycle. Here you can see an input of energy from catabolism, which is just that extra um, energy that was yielded from an exergonic process or an exergonic reaction, and that binds together those three phosphate groups to create the ATP, which remember this is the T is tri, that means there's a three phosphate groups together. And then when the reaction with water occurs, the hydrolysis, that 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 third phosphate group is released and when that is released the energy that was used to bind it together is released and that can be used for cellular work which are those endergonic processes that require energy that leaves ADP because there are just the two phosphates the diphosphate and then this extra phosphate um, group and then that again can be bound together using the energy from catabolism and this cycle repeats itself.